a total of 68 free throws between the two teams. We've had everything you could possibly want in this game. Free throws, three-pointers, power outages, you name it. Three-pointer by Pollard is blocked. And please, will the lights stay on for the last three seconds? <laughs> <laughs> really, what would happen? Hypothetical question. If the Knights win again with three seconds left, would we get another 20-minute delay? Leonard for three. And that's it, I think. So a long, long game that took better than three hours to complete, and Missouri outlasting West Virginia. 78 our final score. The Tigers will advance now to meet Seton Hall, a winner earlier today over LaSalle 78-76. It'll be Missouri against Seton Hall on Saturday. Later tonight, the eight-seeded Texas Longhorns take on Iowa, led by A.C. Earl, and then Duke and Campbell coming up next. The Chevrolet players of the game, Chris Leonard of West Virginia, who had 26 points, and Anthony Peeler of Missouri, who finished with 25. So the final score is Missouri 89, West Virginia 78. I'm Mel Proctor saying so long for Dan Bonner and Leslie Visser from Greensboro. You've been watching CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championships.